Hi, uh, welcome to sitenull.com. Today I'm going to show you Jersey Hello World example. So this is a step-by-step -step video where uh, I have mentioned 10 steps and uh, I will follow each of them. So the first one is like we have to create one Eclipse uh, workspace. Uh, later point of time we will create one dynamic web project inside that Eclipse workspace and we'll check uh, whether uh, this web.xml file is present or not inside that web project. If it is not project, if it is not present, then simply we will create it using the Eclipse Java AA tools. So uh, these are the three steps. Apart from that, we will convert it into Maven project so that we can simply add the Jersey web services dependencies inside pom.xml file and uh, those all the required jars will come in class path once we build the project rather than adding the jar files manually we will prefer to convert it into yeah, project so after that the next step is uh, once we added the dependencies in pom.xml file we will uh, add these things in web.xml these are the jersey web services declaration we will declare the servlet uh, file name here uh, which is a jersey servlet file you can see here this is important if you will not add uh, then your web services will not work and apart from that we also need to give the url pattern like here i'm giving jersey so once your this web application is deployed you have to follow the url pattern uh, which i will show you once the application uh, and deployed in the Tomcat server. So after that we will write one uh, Jersey hello world. So here you can see this file. I have pasted your file, your convenience and my as well. So after that once we created this Java file we will build this project and we will create a war file for that. Once the war file is created as you know we will deploy it into Tomcat and then we will test our web service. So let's go and do this example one by one. So first we'll create this dynamic web project and we'll see it Jesse Hello World. Just say finish. Once it is finished, check for the web.xml file. It is not present. Okay. So we need to go to Java double tools and we will generate this deployment descriptor. Here you can see. That's fine. So as I told you that we will convert this project into Maven project. So go to configure and convert to Maven project. Say finish. Next is uh, just check that uh, build data build automatically is checked uh, if it is checked no problem you if you uncheck it then you need to manually import all the dependencies by cleaning this project uncheck this also say okay if build automatically is uh, checked also there is no problem but this is the uh, way i follow so you have done with uh, creation of dynamic web project completely next you will uh, do jersey web application dependencies so first there are five dependencies three are provided by json java you just simply take and paste it here you can see these dependencies i will tell you see these two are given by java sun so just for better understanding place here it. So these five jars are ASM jar, Jersey bundle, Jersey server, Jersey core, and JSON. This is our most required things. Okay. So next is we have done with pom.xml file and just simply say clean because I have unchecked the build automatically. The next thing is uh, we have to add the jersey declaration in our wave.xml file we will add the jersey servlet we will declare jersey servlet inside our wave.xml file which will come here okay once it is done say format the id 
next thing is we have done with setup right so why not test out just a web application let us create a file java file inside this package sitenull.com sitenull.jersey wave okay say yes just create the class name take the class name from here simply this is jersey hello world say finish now you have to take this complete code like as you know this okay we can take all these yeah simply take this and paste here it will work so you can see this red signs compilation error because we have not imported the libraries we will use java x dot ws course and libraries we are using here here also here also everywhere okay so say format okay it is done so uh, this is the thing like uh, first what we did we simply build the project okay uh, we first uh, created a dynamic project inside eclipse and we uh, uh, added, uh, converted it into maven project we uh, checked for web.xml file existence if it is not present then we simply created it and uh, after that uh, we added the jersey dependencies in pom.xml file and uh, once the jersey dependency is completed we have created one java file so let us see this java file it is path hello world so how it works see this is your web.xml file okay in this web.xml file you have also given this url pattern jersey so uh, you know whenever you will request this web application from your apache tomcat server you have to simply do like this you have to follow uh, this convention you know see this is the servlet uh, url like uh, i'm sorry this is the web application url so first this will give you tomcat server index page right so one by one this this will give you tomcat server url so let us see yeah, let us build this project first for better understanding just the install oh my god i have compilation error no compiler is provided in environment perhaps you are running on jre rather than jdk simply solve it uh, what i will do just select this project which i build and uh, go to properties go to java build path i think uh, we need jdk but it, i i have given jre path so just we have to correct it simply go edit and i know jdk is here for me You should not receive this error uh, if Eclipse is properly configured for you. For me, it was not. I included this in video because so many people face this kind of problem. So you should have better understanding that how to configure compiler. Always make sure that you have one, not only JDK installed here. Uh, sorry, JRE. You have to give JDK path there. So just say my install. You should not face this problem again. Hopefully this war will be deployed uh, within 20 seconds. Yeah, we have done it. See, it built it successfully. So go ahead and take this war directory. Oh, it came as a snapshot, you know. You, okay, no problem. I will go ahead and uh, Take this var file and uh, I will deploy it in Tomcat. I'm doing it manually rather than deploying directly in Eclipse. So I will go to Apache Tomcat web app folder and there I have deployed it. I'm going to bin folder to start the Tomcat. I started it. See the var file name is here this one right 
snapshot is also there so do not forget to take this complete var file name so as i was discussing about this url see uh, first your yeah this is the var file you have to access and after that as you have given the url pattern like jersey i'm sorry jersey so you have to here you have to take be careful with this url and uh, as you want to invoke this file right so here you have mentioned it this path is hello world so go ahead and put this back okay so next as you know uh, we are going to test the web service so i am using mozilla uh, this poster so you you have to also take this okay so just paste this url and say get see you have got your output here okay so that's all guys so if you have any problem here just let me know uh, by giving a proper comment i will try to resolve your problem thank you very much for watching this video have a great day see you again thank you